Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen with an update on Alpha 3.3.7 on the PTU now. It's patch notes and changes. The testing focus for the patch and the current Alpha PTU build is general gameplay and ship AI. The PTU should be open to everyone as well. So if you want to get involved, uh, test it, mess around with it, download it. I'll put links down below. The changes that have been made that are listed are updated some NPC facial animations, removed anniversary hall content, the Anvil Arrow should now have 0G animations, NPCs at Lawville should no longer become stuck in lines, AI ships should now consistently move and respond correctly, AI at Korea should now properly search after reacting to a sound or being shot, the wallet balance should now properly update when using service beacons or other mobile glass purchases. No more negative UEC or Alpha UEC balances. They also fixed two server crashes and made some minor performance optimization improvements. Basically, this patch was to change some pieces after the expo and get AI, NPCs and enemies some quick fixes that they needed. Though this seems to work on some missions and not others, it's a bit inconsistent. AI is certainly a bit better than it was in 3.3.6, but uh, still not great. It's also fixed the dreaded uh, negative alpha UEC bug that some players had, so your UEC balances should now be reflective of what they actually should be. A major problem is still mission inconsistencies in completion and accessibility though. Mission givers, admins and waypoints can very regularly become unresponsive and there is no way to complete those missions then. Getting missions and mission givers working is probably the major thing I want to address ASAP. Also, they need to hook up missions around the moons of Hurston and Hurston and Lawville so that we have some localized missions to do just around those areas. We need all of that content there so that we have reasons to be there other than faffing around with some of the other missions and just pretty landscapes to look at. Although pretty landscapes are pretty cool, uh, I do need reasons to be in that area and actually draw me into gameplay that I haven't pre-planned with a load of other players. There are problems with selling commodities in large quantities as well, so you have to sell huge cargoes in tiny little increments, which takes ages. Um, it can take like 10, 15 minutes to sell a full cargo load um, from something large like a caterpillar. Um, there isn't much in the way of trade working around Hurston either and its moons, and that all needs to be fixed. Bed logging works sometimes and not others. VoIP and FOIP doesn't seem to be currently working for me in the PTU. VoIP does work client side, at least I suppose, so I could do silly little skits with Safety Boy or what have you. Mission rewards need to be higher and there uh, needs to be more difficult, more rewarding missions as well. Um, this is partly due to the ship prices being so high and it was addressed in a video that I just did um, that they talked about on Calling All Devs. That the fact that they were sort of pricing ships towards the final intended starting prices of ships. And in the shorter term, they're going to raise the prices of missions potentially or or have some more accessibility to funds. And we are going to have rentals probably in 3.4 and stuff like that as well. So that, that sort of stuff is being addressed, admittedly. There is obviously a lot of quality of life issues, bug fixing and more they need to do. Um, for example, the Moby Glass stutters again when you bring it out uh, and then before you put it away and stuff. So that that's really annoying. That does need to be fixed. But with 3.4 on the horizon, probably with an Eva Carty build for 3.4, as soon as this Friday, I would expect, or at least hope for, there might not be any more fixes after this 3.3.7 patch goes live until 3.4 goes live. So I hope they do a quick little iron at 3.3.7 to get it into a good state, which I will expect would have a live build within the next day or so. But please tell me about your experiences with the 3.3.7 PTU patch. Did it fix some issues for you? Did it make some more problems? Are you looking forward to the 3.4 patch? Do you think that 3.4 patch won't be live for Christmas? Do you think we'll get a PTU for everyone instead? Whatever your thoughts, I'd like to hear from them in the comments below. We will be giving away another Saber Raven with a CitizenCon digital goodies pack. All you need to do is be subscribed to my channel and comment on any of my videos in December to be in for a chance of winning. And some other giveaways may appear and some other stuff uh, along the month, but I will inform you when that happens. If you are considering getting or upgrading your gaming PC for Star Citizen or any other game for that matter, 
Instead, consider the Shadow Cloud Gaming Service. It's a subscription-based service that leverages your internet connection to turn any appropriate device, whether it be an old PC, smartphone, tablet, and more into a powerful Windows 10 gaming PC. It's been working well in the latest 3.3.0 PTU batch of Star Citizen. I'm gonna try and maintain a best practices guide on my website as well. More information is available in the links below, and if you do decide to try it, use the code BOARDGAMER to get a discount. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the verse.